Well, now the um, hacking trial has been shown CCTV images from an underground car park to illustrate an alleged plot to hide computer evidence from police. The incident was dubbed Pizzagate over a text message alluding to a takeaway delivery. The images already showed, allegedly showed attempts to conceal material from the police on the day they searched the homes of former News of the World editor Rebecca Brooks. Ms Brooks and her husband both deny the charges. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davies was in court. It's just gone midnight and out of the car steps Charlie Brooks in his white shirt, the racehorse trainer and former jockey. From the other car, his wife, the now ex-CEO of News International, Rebecca Brooks, emerges. She'd been arrested and questioned 12 hours earlier as part of the hacking inquiry. The couple embrace in a car park beneath their London flat, in the midst of what the prosecution claim was their complicated little plan to hide stuff from the police. A conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, say the prosecution, involving three of the defendants, Rebecca and Charlie Brooks, as well as the former head of security at News International, Mark Hanna, during the days of what they called Operation Blackhawk. It was mid-July 2011. The News of the World had just closed. Rebecca Brooks had just resigned as boss of News International, and Blackhawk was the name of a company operation to provide her with security. And according to the prosecution, to facilitate this alleged cover-up. Jurors today were shown CCTV footage from the underground car park of the Brooks's Chelsea Harbour flat. Here you can see Charlie Brooks entering the car park with what jurors have been told is a jiffy bag and a laptop under his right arm. He heads towards a bin area and returns without the items. It is just a few minutes after Rebecca Brooks has been arrested elsewhere in London. Over an hour later, Mark Hanna, News International's head of security, then arrives, allegedly to take the items away and hide them from the police, who a few hours later come to search the flat to remove potential evidence. Another member of the security team, Daryl Jawsling, also charged separately, is then seen arriving a few hours later with a black bin bag. He heads off in the direction of the bins and returns empty-handed. Now that the police have gone, the sensitive material claim the prosecution is being returned. Mr Jawsling, it's alleged, had been pretending to deliver pizza that night. He would text a colleague, broadsword calling Danny Boy, pizza delivered and the chicken is in the pot. At the beginning of the trial, the prosecution described all of this as a quite complicated and quite risky operation which was liable to go wrong and which, they claim, did go wrong. When this happened, the next morning, a cleaner spots the bag and just out of shot picks it up and drives off. This is footage claimed the prosecution of Charlie Brooks later trying to find that black bin bag while Rebecca Brooks stands by the car waiting for him. Others, it appears, would join him in the search later, but to no avail. The bag, picked up by the cleaner, would eventually be handed in to the police. All the defendants in this case deny the charges against them.